Welcome back to the Glacier Guys podcast. I'm Ethan Alesha. And I'm Joey Fernandez. And today we have a very special guest from Moraine Golf Team, Randy Miller. He's a sophomore and he golfs at Moraine. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. No problem, man. Thanks for coming on. Um, so is this your second year playing golf at Moraine? Yeah, it is. So last season was it was only five matches because COVID and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't really a full season, but yeah, this would have been my second. So uh well how how much of a difference was that like just this year and last year as far as like protocols and stuff so i don't remember how much we practiced last year but it definitely wasn't as much like this year we practiced like five days a week we had matches like maybe two days a week Mm -hmm. so it was really more like of a full schedule whereas like last year we just had like five conference matches and like that was it like we would practice like twice a week was there any like off season stuff like before the season last year no 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 no. so it was just like from like maybe september to like october okay Did, did you know any players or any other golfers coming in last year uh no i did not so no everyone that i knew was like my first time meeting them but then this year i one of the kids came back and then the other three okay. were freshmen as well okay so you didn't know any of them like outside of uh meeting no, them at all. but they're all they were all like local like lincoln way central kids like okay. oak forest mm-hmm. you know okay. and i know yeah, you yeah. went to stag high school did you play golf there yeah so i started playing golf my freshman year mm-hmm. and then i didn't really take that serious it was just kind of like me and the boys just kind of yeah around and stuff <laughs> mm-hmm. But then, like, junior year, I was kind of, I didn't know where I want to go to school and stuff. So yeah. I kind of it, I took it a little more serious. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, so I ended up at Marine. Cool. Gotcha. Did you play golf, like, growing up and stuff like that? Uh, no, I didn't. So I played a lot of sports as a kid, like okay. football, basketball, volleyball, that mm-hmm. stuff. But mm-hmm. then, like, I never grew. So <laughs> <laughs> you kind of need height. So yeah. um, I just picked up golf my freshman year. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you just, like, take it up yourself, or did one of your friends was like, hey, you uh, wanna, like So, no, I actually, like, live across the street from a golf course. So oh, it was really? always right there. Okay. And then, like, I started working there. Oh. So then <laughs> it would, fall came around, which is the season mm-hmm. for stag. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not playing baseball. I'm not doing any of that, so I might as well just start golfing. <laughs> exactly. So you get, like, free range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's <laughs> super cool. So did you just, like, teach yourself how to play? or? Yeah, YouTube. Really? A lot of YouTube, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. It wasn't until, like, this year that I took, like, my first lesson. Wow. Yeah, so... Interesting. That's, that's pretty impressive because yeah. uh, my golf game isn't too great trying to yeah, teach myself. Yeah, same so. here. <laughs> <laughs> Golf's is definitely a, definitely a hard sport. It's like yeah. really a grind. You got to get good at it. For sure. Know. Do you, is there like any golfers you kind of try to model your game after? Uh, so, you know, I went through a few swing changes <laughs> trying to look like them and stuff. But yeah. It's like so difficult to replicate. <laughs> so like oh, a lot sure. of, a lot of things are like swing your swing, like, uh-huh. you know, use what you got kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. but you no, like, uh, sorry. Yeah, like a ahead. few things, like a few golfers is like uh, Colin Morikawa, mm-hmm. okay, know him, yeah. like Brooks Kapka. I think those guys uh-huh. have like really nice golf swings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, I'm a big Brooksy guy for sure. Brooksy. So you're not yeah. driving like Bryson? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do hit the ball a good ways, but I mean those guys hit it so far. It's, it's crazy. Even, like it's I, I feel like even even in the last ten years, like everybody's hitting it over 300 now. You know? Yeah, I mean definitely. I feel like the tour average for driving has gone up a lot. It's insane. And it's like. It's like people like Bryson that are all just like, let's hit the ball as far as we can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Like muscle heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, it's it's weird. Like, it's not weird, but like, just recently, a lot of people are like actually lifting like pro golfers yeah. and stuff now. Like they're taking yeah. strength very seriously. Yeah. So like weight training has definitely become a thing. Not for me, but like for <laughs> professionals. Yeah, and stuff, yeah, right. Like they definitely try to because like distance is an advantage you know? oh yeah for sure and like recently so the usga which is like the people that make the like regulations yeah. they like made a new rule where the club has to be shorter the driver has to be shorter because they're trying to limit the distance yeah wow. at the golf ball really which, and like a lot of pros are really upset about it i did not know like, that yeah, was it, how recent was this so i think like last week really? so like usually you could have like a 47 inch driver mm-hmm. but like they're limiting it to 46 which huh. i mean may not seem like a lot but but I'm sure, especially if you're, like, used to a driver of yeah. a certain length, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's interesting because I know they've taken into account, like, a lot of physics and stuff like that lately, yeah. too, with, like, Bryson and all that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bryson's, like, a scientist. Like, he, like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's very weird, the things, like, no, you yeah. probably look it up. Like, the yeah. things that he does, 
is for golf is like nuts. Yeah. I, 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 after the Ryder Cup, they were making fun of him not drinking. They were like, go drink your protein. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> I heard he's yeah. a bit of an odd guy. But. No, he's definitely. <laughs> weird. Weird. No, but uh, even like he did the long drive tournament and he yeah. was like final eight or whatever. He was on the yeah, last yeah, day. That's yeah. insane for yeah, a pro golfer. It was, to, it was like, crazy. So like a lot of the dudes for the pro long drive, like they struggle to hit it within the grid. But right. like he would just hit it straight. Yeah. Whereas the <laughs> other guys were just spraying it all over the place, yeah. which gave him a huge advantage. They were saying on average, like they, they hit one out of three inbounds or something. And yeah. then for Bryson, he was like over two out of every three were inbounds. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, probably, I, I don't know the exact number, but probably mm-hmm. like 80% of the time he did it in the grid. That's crazy. That's <laughs> nuts. Yeah. Cause I've seen a few of those before. And a lot of times the guys will just spray them out of bounds cause they're just going like, you know, full power and everything. Yeah, it's so hard to control, but I don't know if you guys know Cog Hill. It's over. In yeah, yeah. 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 Ozzy yeah, Gian so golfs there a lot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so, uh, what's it called? We I was leaving practice there one day, uh-huh. and there was, like, the long drive competition. It was a smaller competition, but, like, uh-huh. all the big names were there. Like, I don't know if you guys know Morton Bar- Martin Borgmeier, maybe. Sounds no. familiar. But, like, no, it was just so unique to me to, like, see all these guys, and, like, all of them were just there to hit the ball as far as possible. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, like, I'm over here practicing, like, 10-yard chip shots, <laughs> and, like, trying to get it close to yeah. the Yeah. So were and you able to watch that at all? Or? Yeah, so I was, like, right next to them. It was really cool, and then I spoke to Mor- Martin Borgmeier about it. He's, like, re- one of the bigger guys. I think he finished top six. And that that's thing awesome, with Bryson. Yeah. So that's it was really cool. It's really cool. That's thing. crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I think I think golfers in general are like underrated athletes, just with the precision um, and mental yeah. game. Yeah, I consider myself an athlete that golf's. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the mental game for golf is kind of huge. You know, like oh for it's, sure, it's it's a lot of confidence because you know yeah. I'm out there by myself. Yeah, trying to hit a little white ball to like <laughs> a pen, and mm-hmm. it's like. If I hit a bad shot, it's like, damn, I got to, like, stay in it. You yeah. know mm-hmm. what I mean? Do you, do you do anything specific to, like, get yourself in, like, a certain mindset before um, you go golf? Or? No, it wasn't really, like, this year until, like, because, like, as I'm trying to take it more seriously, yeah, yeah. Mm. I've definitely noticed where, like, the mental game comes in to play because, like, I don't know. It's just weird. You can, it's, it's very easy to overthink. Yeah. Oh, there. for sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it's just you out there, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it is a team sport, but you're the only one that's hitting that ball. So it's like... Yeah, I'm the only one over the ball and stuff. I mean, my coach would come see me every few holes and ask how I'm doing, but, like, he can't take the shot for me. (laughs) You know what I mean? No, exactly. For sure. Yeah. Um, What do you think's, like, for you, what's what's the most important part of your game, would you say? (sighs) So, yeah, this year is uh, where I realized that, like, golf is really about, like, 100 yards and in. So, like, Uh your wedges and your putting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I would go golfing with a few of my buddies. And, I mean, they would hit the ball farther than me. Mm -hmm. But then once we got around the green, you could really tell the difference between someone that golfs five days a week and someone who doesn't. Because they, like, hit the ball over the green (laughs) right there. Yeah. Yeah, short game, I feel like, definitely, like, wins you things for sure. Like, a lot of money. That's where you make your money. Yeah. It's on the green. (laughs) Um, so you said you golfed in high school. What's kind of some of the bigger differences between high school and college golf? Uh, huh, I don't really know. Uh, well, I would definitely say, like, mm, a lot of it is kind of similar in a sense because, like, you would have kids that would shoot, you know, really low, like mm-hmm. almost even par. But then you'd also have kids that were, like, in the hundreds, which was really cool. To At see. high school? Yeah. Okay. And in college oh okay. really yeah juco you know <laughs> well, <laughs> but, uh, yeah that's true some of the differences i'm not too sure brother i don't know maybe just like practice it's more it's a yeah. little more serious just a little bit that yeah. or like uh is there any differences the way like the meets are ran or anything like that or no oh uh, no uh actually so in college we would actually get to warm up in okay. high school it's 315 you get off the bus you go play you know <laughs> really? what i'm saying you don't get to warm up at all you have your first drive of the day interesting and that's a it. couple practice swings yeah and yeah and then get out there you're off <laughs> but no so yeah and, and uh at moraine you'd be able to like hit balls before and that's stuff, cool which is really good how long does that like usually get to warm up for uh probably like, uh 25 30 minutes okay. maybe 40 minutes do you think do you think that helps your score out a lot like uh so my coach is actually like anti-range he believes that really? like yeah you you're showing up to the course with what you got so you don't really <laughs> need a warm up. Yeah. And yeah. like sometimes when we would practice and like play 18, we wouldn't uh go to the range. Okay. And I mean, I don't know. I I kind of agree with them, you know. Cuz like mm-hmm. if you say you go to the range, right? Uh-huh. And you're hitting balls, mm-hmm. you like may like 
hit a ball and then be like, wait, this kind of worked. And then you're like working on your swing on the range right before you go play. Which uh, isn't and then really you're in your own head. And then you're overthinking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just like that. Yeah. That makes sense. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I could kind of see that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not much of a golfer, but I, yeah. I, I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, was the beginning, oh, I already said this actually. <laughs> uh, did the mandatory vaccine mandate from Marine athletes cause any issues for the team? Or uh, like there was that? one kid who wanted to play, but he like tried to get like a religious exemption mm-hmm. and they didn't allow it. Really? So, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I know when at the tournament, another kid from Elgin, he didn't get vaccinated, but like the school board let him play. Uh-huh. And then like when when we were out there and staying in the hotels, he um, got to stay in his own room. So really? Was, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So with the like, I don't know if you know, but like, so the religious exemption, what it just didn't go through, like. Oh, uh, I'm not too. I don't know all the details, yeah. but I just know that he wasn't on the team. Huh. So. Interesting. Was yeah. he, was he on the team last year? No. Okay. Wasn't. Okay. So he was a new guy. Just okay. Curious. But yeah. Gotcha. Um. What were some of the team goals kind of coming into the season, would you say? Um, so, realistically, the only goal that all of us had was to go to Nationals. Um, it was more realistic for some of us, uh, more realistic than others. Yeah, mm. of course. Um, there's definitely, like, a skill gap between us all. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, uh, like some of the kids, two, two or three of the kids, they were just kind of there just to play golf, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, like, me and the two other kids kind of took it a little more serious. Uh-huh. And we had higher expectations for ourselves. Mm. Uh-huh. None of us made it to nationals, which uh-huh. was kind of a bummer. But, mm. yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I, when I spoke to your coach for an interview, like, a couple weeks ago, uh, he was telling me that L- College of Lake County was kind of kind of nuts. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know <laughs> if that guy's doing some recruiting or something. But really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so College of Lake County has, like, they're one through four. You take four scores. Uh-huh. They're one through four just – incredible golf really, really? yeah like, so I, like a lot of times i question like why you guys <laughs> at a juco because like they could easily be you know ncaa like what was Div two. what was the gap really? between so like you guys typically i mean we'd shoot we'd shoot like 80 to 85 uh-huh. whereas yeah. their guys will shoot like 70 to 75 oh my gosh oh my. It's literally yeah yeah so <laughs> it's like we never had a chance, right? Yeah. 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 And it was like that for kind of every tournament that both you guys were Yeah, we, you know, they, they were definitely the favorites for every yeah. tournament. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah, I think the closest we came from them is like 20 shots. Wow. So, yeah. One, the first tournament of the year, the kid shot a 65, oh. seven under. Oh, my God. And we're all just like, what are you doing? Here? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, why is he golfing yeah. for a Juco? Yeah. So, yeah, because I was talking to your coach, and he was like, yeah, any other year, we would probably be conference champions right now. Yeah, because we all we all played pretty well. We all shot, like, 80 to 85 at the regional. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we were still, like, 20 shots away from, like, eighth place. Oh, and we were smokes. all just like, what is going on? Yeah. Like, what are these kids shooting out here? Like, <laughs> yeah. who are these guys? But yeah. I don't know. I guess the competition got way better. Because last year was yeah. not that good. But this year, I don't mm. know. Maybe yeah. cause just because it was just, like, the main COVID year and everything, like, last yeah. year. You know what I mean? I A lot know, of people probably didn't gave, decide to gave play people golf. people more time to get better, I guess. Yeah. So. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Something. Um, uh, so, like, that was kind of, that was, like, along with, that was your individual goal as well, kind of to make nationals. Yeah. So last year, so it was you play three rounds, right? Uh-huh. And like, so last year it was two forty to get in, which is like eighty, eighty, eighty. Whereas this year it was like two twenty five. Oh wow. Which is seventy five, seventy five, seventy five. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know, man. I think that's like really good. Yeah. yeah right? No. And they changed the format kind of right. So like last year, more individuals got to go mm-hmm. and less teams got to go. But this year, more teams got to go and less individuals. So like. Instead of 10 individuals, it was five. Okay. So the score to get in was a lot lower because only five individuals got to go. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense for sure. Yeah. Um, how would you kind of describe the team's chemistry this year? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. We, <laughs> we all loved each other. Um, we all joked around. I mean, you know, a lot of the time, I mean, I felt like I wasn't even on the course. You know, I was just hanging out with my friends. Really? It was really cool. That's yeah. awesome. I and feel like, like that kind of helps you, like, play better, too. Yeah, know? definitely. Because, you know, you take your mind off the golf, you know, and you could just talk yeah. to, you know, whatever you want to talk about with mm-hmm. the guy. A lot so. more loose. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it just makes everything more comfortable. Yeah. Um, do you want to describe the relationship you and your teammates have kind of with the coaching staff? Oh, yeah. So we all got along greatly with our coach. Um his name's uh, Mr. Coach Lovelace. He's uh-huh. an awesome guy. Um, I could, probably couldn't ask for a better coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 
um it's just awesome <laughs> did he recruit you out of high school or did you kind of just walk onto the team so my senior year you know i wasn't that great in school i was like kind of lost on what i wanted to do yeah mm-hmm. i was in my ap psych class and then i get a letter some lady walks in and hands me a letter and it's like rain valley wants to give you a scholarship to play there and like i already planned on going to marine but like yeah. this yeah. letter was like awesome and yeah. then i brought it home to like my parents and they're like yeah good job. <laughs> and i was like that's okay, awesome that's awesome yeah. yeah did he ever come to like stag to like for no uh, not not in person but like okay. yeah he sent like the letter and stuff that's, that's awesome dope. Mm-hmm. yeah um so with this season did covid make practice more difficult or was it kind of easy to adjust uh no so luckily for us golf is more of an outside sport mm-hmm. so a lot of it's like you're not really that close to each other, so yeah. practice was kind of normal. Just as, yeah, regular day on the green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have to wear masks like when you were traveling somewhere as a team? Or uh, like? yeah. So when we would take the bus, we'd have to wear a mask inside okay. the bus. But oh, like okay. for practice and and actually like tournaments and everything. Oh uh, no! When we would have, like have to go inside like the clubhouse to get the balls, we'd have to wear a mask because mm-hmm. like the mask mandates. But then once we got outside and we started hitting, we didn't have to wear a mask anymore. Did they kind of make it a point to, like, keep you guys away from other golfers at all or not really? No, no, no. They were really lenient with it. You could kind of do whatever gotcha. you want. Gotcha. And with it being outside, that just makes yeah. it, like, you know, much so easier. much easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, do you plan on continuing golf after Marine? Um, so I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Mm-hmm. I'm at a point where, like, it's either I really, like, got to go really hard to get better. Yeah. Or I got to, like, decide if I'm just fine with where I'm at and mm-hmm. not really want to play golf anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's like what I'm debating with myself. Um, I was thinking about going to Trinity because my coach told me that Trinity's interested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about going there for the spring. I don't know exactly if I want to do that. I talked to my parents about it and they were kind of all for it. Cause yeah. you know, it's local. Yeah. It's super close. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. I get to golf. So yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of the best of both. It kind of sucks. Cause like winter, you can't really golf outside. It's right. a lot. You got to yeah. like force yourself to go inside and like swing. Mm-hmm. Like there's indoor places, but. Yeah. But it's just like kind of inconvenient. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So so like I was, I want, I kind of wanted to go like down to Florida and play okay. there because you could play there year round. Yeah, right. for sure. So I don't know. It's the, uh, and it's still early in the school year and everything too. Yeah. So it's like you have some time to decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, outside of that, I think we've talked about everything. What do you think? Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add about the season or? Uh, no. No. We're all good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, best of luck to you uh, in your golf career. All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me. No guys. problem. Um, if you guys want to check out this episode, it will be posted on the Glacier soon. Um, thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next week. Peace.